Matty Beneers and the captain of the Jets, Adam Lowry, Dave's boy, sit back and enjoy this one. Off the faceoff, Lowry had two goals in Colorado on Saturday. And Winnipeg reestablishes out to center. Shifley over the line. Brendan Dillon going wide, steered along by Grubauer to the corner. Stanley Cup playoffs that start Saturday night. Nemesnikov, Nemesnikov in control. Neil Pion kicked out by Grubauer. Again, Grubauer on Morgan Barron. Oh, that first stop was dynamite by Gruby. That is a huge stop here. Watch the right pad there of Gruby. A beautiful stop, and then he makes one with the left leg there. Thursday night to San Jose. Everly drops it off for Rakowski. His shot shielded by Hellebuck. And the rebound is picked up briefly by Andre Burakovsky. Oh, nice. Canada Life Center here in Winnipeg. Final telecast this season on Root Sports. Cartier in tight. Stopped by Hellebuck. Without rebound, he'll hang on. Nikolai Ehlers, who can really skate. Routine the zone. Mesnikov. Tafoli off the goal post. Right out in front. Tafoli shut down by Grubauer. Save here. The first one looked like it goes off of Grubauer up and over. Not able to get that puck, and Toffoli gets a second. And Alexander Georgiev has really struggled here down the stretch. I mean, they really like. I mean, they really like that guy, Johnny. They really do. But they did. The way he's been playing, it's, right. uh, it's been tough right now. But they want to get that back in the present tense, and they score. Kyle Connor, the sniper, snipes. 9:27 left in period one. The Jets break the ice. Adam Larson to the near side here. Larson's going to come down, and how does he beat him? He throws the puck right between his legs there, JT. I mean, that's just a brilliant pass by an outstanding center iceman. And who's out in front of the net but Kyle Connor? And look at you got to take away that passing lane because if it gets by you, only bad things are going to happen. He'll fake it, drop it. Rakowski lays it along for Gord. All the way back for Larson. Adam Larson, Gord with a shot. No problem for Hellebuck. Going down the Mello. Gord's on it to the slot. McCann. Now Borgen. Here's Alexiak. Will Borgen with a shot. And Hellebuck got a piece of it. Just wanted to let you know that one U.S. dollar is a buck 38. There you go. So I got that. I figured it out. Wheelers with a shot. And Grubauer has that one figured out. It goes to the corner. My follow in front is checked by Tatar. Tanev out you. to center. Belmar denied by Hellebuck. A big rebound. Great play by Peon. Winnipeg attempting to survive that. Dumoulin for Tanev downstairs. Tatar to the outside. One timer. Schultz tips. Stopped. Covered by Hellebuck. I mean, I just I felt awful here for the young. Hockey fans that had yeah. no idea of what was going on, right? It's a business decision, but if you're 9, 10, 11 years old, all you know is your favorite team is leaving. Right. And uh, I could never imagine that. Tomas Tatar goes to the short side with a buck 22 left to go in this first period. Tuna comes calling, and the Kraken tie. I believe he actually screens counter Hellebuck on this play, but this play is all made through the middle of the ice. He distributes and then he goes to the front of the net and maybe a double screen with Stanley and Belmar, but Tatar with a beautiful short side wrister. Yeah, just not enough time to react there, and it was a great job using Stanley as that oh, second. So hopefully we don't get oh. interrupted by another goal there, Johnny. I know. You know, when that happens, it's, it's just, only in the most it's important not, it's moment in the game. It's not polite. But that's okay. <laughs> Look out. Connor scores. He's totally unmarked at the side of the goal. Set up beautifully by Josh Morrissey with 5.8 seconds left in the period. 2-1, to one, Winnipeg. Well, let's watch how this play develops. You got two D-men out in front, and Brian Dumoulin goes drifting, and now you got Yamamoto who's just drifting out. That's his man in front. You got three guys out high, and you got two down low, and... The wrong guy gets his puck and he goes short side on Gruby. No chance, but JT, a break down there. Dumoulin leaves the front of the net like he's... Supported by our great crew here at Canada Life Center. Riker Evans paired on defense with Adam Larson. We kick off the second period of the long change. Hellebuck. He and the Jets have a six-game winning streak ongoing. Tatar in tight to the slot. Belmar denied by Hellebuck. 
Morgan and Alexiak, where they have been all season, paired together every single game. Morgan at the point with a shot through traffic, kicked out by Connor Hellebuck. Maybe Hellebuck got a piece of it left in back of the goal. Neil Pionk underneath it and out is Nikolai Ehlers. Partial three on two. This is Tyler Toffoli. His shot, good save twice, but they score on the third chance. It's Nikolai Ehlers. As it pinballs off Grubauer. 17.30 left to go in the second period. Three to one, Winnipeg. And rush here for Winnipeg. Wheeler's going to do a good job kicking it out, driving towards the net. Toffoli just sends the puck towards the net. You have the net drive, and Ehlers is able to stick with it. I think this bounces in off of Schultz. Ehlers does get a touch yeah, there, right before yeah, he, he throws it right, through. But watch it go off of Gruby, and then right there off of Schultz, up and over Gruby, and you see Schultz waving that left hand. Swatted at by Borgen, turned back, counterattack for the Kraken. Tanev cuts across, Ward back for Tanev. Good play by Sandberg. Tanev up top, it's Riker Evans. Evans with a shot, and he scores! The puck has eyes. It's Yanni Gord cruising in the path of Connor Hellebuck. Evans from downtown, and Yanni Gord brings the Kraken within one. Of getting some separation, and what a hand eye coordination play here by Yanni out in front of the net. Beautiful redirect, net front presence. Look at, you cannot see Connor Hellebuck here. Now, obviously, we got the camera look from behind, but if you had the other look that we showed, you look to the net, you don't see the goaltender. Excellent job in front of the net. I believe that was Cartier and Yanni out in front of the net. And I think uh, the great Ron Francis had 90 plus that year. That's I think right. Yanni had maybe 92. Yep. York Strand in front, a shot. Great save. Hellebuck on Yanni Gore going for his second goal. And a chance to level this game off. Bjorkstrand out of the corner. He'll wind it up. Good stick check by Nikolai Ehlers. Back it comes for Riker Evans. Looking for another tip out in front. Morrissey to the outside for Sean Monahan. Beautiful pass by Bjorkstrand to create that chance for Yanni. Now a steal. Gord's on it. He'll drag it. A great play to Ty Kerchey! 147 left to go in the second period. Gord initiates it. Cartier finishes it, and the Kraken have tied it. And Ty Cartier, he he opens up here, JT, because at the beginning he only has his stick in front of him. It's like he wanted the pass on his backhand, and Yanni, I think, was waiting. Open up, open up, get your stick behind you. And then once he got his stick behind him, that's when Yanni put it right in the wheelhouse. But it's the sell, too. Yanni sells shot, pushes the puck over, and able to... Two more nights of regular season play. The Kraken have one more left. So do the Jets. Vancouver's here on Thursday. Velarde now broke it up. County Gord's away with Bjorkstrand. He'll thread a pass. Bjorkstrand lays it off. Cartier stopped by Hellebuck. Winnipeg survives that. Burakovsky and Veneers and McCann go to work. Watch this pass and play. Gord to Bjorkstrand over to Cartier. Goes backhand, forehand right into the midset. Burakovsky now. Turning stick of Dumoulin, tipped by Yamamoto, he gets it back side of the goal, McCann encumbered by it, he was tied up by Sandberg, Schultz rifles wide. That puck might hit the post, Johnny. After look at Burakovsky's right, oh, it ends up going off the stick, Johnny. The save by Hellebuck, not the post. What a save, watch this, the paddle of the stick, oh my goodness. Hellebuck, I'm sure he's going to see a lot of Nathan McKinnon. A miscommunication at the D lookout. Bjorkstrand tracks it, shoots it, fought off. Gord on the doorstep is denied. Might have hit Yanni in the blue paint there, Johnny. That shot from Ollie. Nino Niederreiter for Ehlers. He'll feed it all the way around to Foley. Let's it go for Pionk. Ehlers this way, marches in. In front. They score! Tyler to Foley. And a stellar pass from Nikolai Ehlers. Power play goal, four to three, Winnipeg. Boy, what an entry on the power play for the Winnipeg Jets. And I believe it was Neil Pionk that fired this puck rink wide. And it goes from one side of the ice to the other. To Foley gets it. He goes forehand. Gruby goes sliding. He goes backhand. And he puts it into the net. What a passing play and what a goal there by Tyler To Foley. So just great hands, patience out in front. Able to get around Dumoulin and and the Winnipeg Jets 
With three seconds left, send it all the way down. They have clinched second place in the Central Division.